Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today we are building another house, and today is kind of similar to the house that we built last Monday in the fact that it is a suburban dream house like the last one was, and I'm just really into these builds at the moment. I just absolutely love like the style, and this one was inspired by an image on Google, which I just Googled um, suburban house blueprints because I always struggle with floor plans, so that's what I Googled, and then so this shape is a blueprint. Well, sort of, sort of a blueprint, kind of like the decking was from the picture, like how it swept around in an L shape and it had a piece of decking out the back and then I, the rest I kind of just improvised, like where I wanted the bedrooms and stuff. So it's a two bedroom, one bathroom um, bungalow, so it's just the one story. And yeah, so we're going in and doing the shape. Obviously it was really quick because one, I had a floor plan and I knew exactly what I wanted to go for. So sometimes when I come in, I'm not sure. And then other times I know like exactly where I'm going with it. So adding in the roof and we've done the floor plan and all of that kind of stuff really, really quick. So this house probably looks bigger from the outside than it actually is because there's a lot of roofing going on, but actually it's quite a, quite a small house. It's very open planned. Again, like the last house that I did actually, it has the kitchen, diner and living room all in one. And then it has two like separate bedrooms, obviously, and then the bathroom that joins. And you can actually only access the bathroom through either of the bedrooms. So, I mean, thinking about it now, I probably should have put a door from like the hallway or the living room. But, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. So, but yeah, I just really like this type of house at the moment going for like lots of um, verandas and having like just... I don't know, it's like suburban to me. I don't know if it's suburban to you guys, but I just think of like Desperate Housewives and all that kind of stuff. And it just screams Willow Creek, in my opinion. <laughs> like that's the kind of thing they had here and I just really like that style in the game. So yeah, I'm um, going through and putting in like the foundation uh, cover stuff things. What are they called? Foundation covers? You know, like paint on the foundation, but you can't do that. You have to pick from one of the preset things. So yeah, I put like a crisscrossy kind of thing on like the verandas and then I put like a concrete on the rest of the house for I don't know realism I guess and then going through and adding in railings and stuff and I use these very fairy tale ones again I always call them the fairy tale railings I don't know why they just look like really perfect to me like little picket fence kind of railings type of thing I didn't put a fence on this build and I know I said that at the beginning of the last build and then I ended up doing it but I know that I didn't put a fence on this one so I know that for sure this time <laughs> um there isn't a pool in the backyard, there's just like a table. I kept it really just casual in this build. So it's quite affordable, but it actually comes to 103,960 simoleons. So by affordable, I mean if you use cheats, then it's affordable, but otherwise not so much. Um, going through and adding in little windows, we just use a bunch of, um, uh, what are they called? You know, like shutters, that's it. <laughs> Ones on the windows, because again, that just screams like suburban house to me. Um, here's the little bathroom where I'm just putting those little windows in and then I added in some like dip in and out bits in the bedrooms for the walk-in wardrobes that we get with get together um, doing the outside lighting and then up the top here I add in these little um, dormers just for decoration and I go through and put flooring painting and lights in just so from the outside it looks really sort of like you can't see into an empty room if you know what I mean so it looks better I think and then adding in a bunch of flower bed things, pots, window flowers, things. I never know what anything is called in this game. When when I'm going through doing it in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, I want those things. And I just know what I'm talking about. But then when it comes to describing it on video, I'm like, ah, I don't know what they're called. But yeah, those things that you see there. And then this I got from the picture on Google. It was like a little curved path. So I just managed to squeeze in a little bit of a curve out the front here. And it looked really nice. Um, going through and putting in some landscaping which I, I do keep this, what I'm doing right now, but I don't keep what I'm doing here because it looked too messy and I actually wanted this to be more of a manicure type of feel. So we go through and put in like, um, what's the word for it? Like, so it goes alternating colors kind of thing with the bushes and I think it looked, just looked nicer. I just wasn't feeling this kind of messiness to the landscaping, which is usually the type of landscaping I like to do, but I thought we'd mix it up today and do something a bit different. And I did take out some of the yellow flowers because there was a few too many yellow flowers going on. So as you can see, I just moved that tree flower patch there a bit further forward so they didn't intersect with these bushes as much. Um, and then I'm going to change those flowers to white like I just did. And then you've got white and pink flowers out the front, a mixture out next to that tree, and then like little yellow flowers on the flower boxes. So I just thought that was a nice touch. I'm um, going inside and doing like the floor plan, laying out where I want things. So this is the kitchen area. It's quite a big kitchen actually. There's a lot of space here. So you could probably fit 
to be fair, I think you could probably fit a four-person household in here because you could make the spare room into two singles if you wanted to. There's a double bed in there, so you could fit two sims in there anyway, but if you had, like, parents, like, two parents and then two kids, you could probably put two singles in it. It would be all right. It's quite small, but I think you'd get away with it. And then, obviously, the master has a double bed anyway. Or you could switch it around and use the guest bedroom as the master bedroom and then use the slightly bigger room as the kids' room since there's, like, two single beds in there or whatever, really. So, um... As you can see with the cabinets there, the like upper cabinets, I use those end pieces to make it fit around the windows and I love doing that. I actually, where did I see that? I used, saw it on the Tides Changing, Ashley from the Tides Changing, she did it as well. I'd already done it when I saw her do it, but I was like, oh yeah, I'm glad somebody else does that as well. And it's just a cool feature. It is a bit finicky because they kind of snap to certain places, but if you use the arrow keys, um, wait, well, not the arrow keys, but like the comma and the period keys, which have the little arrows on them, you can manage to get it to sort of change around the right way and then you can quickly click before it snaps back to its other position. It's not as much stress as I'm making it sound, it's actually fine, but yeah. So, um, I am... Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I had too much, like, the kitchen went into the hallway too much, so I wanted to sort of, like, section that bit off a little bit, so I put a book, like, built-in bookshelf kind of feel here and then changed the colour of the wood, and I really like how that turned out, actually, it was nice. I was just going to wall it off originally, but I thought, no, let's try and utilise the space because... It's not a huge room, so I was trying to utilise it as much as possible, and oh my god, here we go with the dining room table, you guys are going to have to bear with me, because this is probably like the next 20 minutes of video, because <laughs> it took me so long to try and pick out this damn dining room table. I was trying to find a wood that matched the kitchen cabinets, and there just wasn't that one. There was like this light wood on this chair, as you can see now, and that was the only type of wood I could find. But oh my god, I was struggling so much. In the end we go for like an outside table, which is this like black iron. And that might seem a little strange to some people, but when I've been to America on holiday before, they tend to have a lot of like iron tables with glass in the middle, and I always really love it. Um, so I thought, oh, I like I remembered that that was in the outside area, and I thought, oh actually maybe I'll go with that. And because I couldn't find a wood to match, and I didn't want to use a different wood colour, and it was just like... It was driving me insane, to be honest. This is a pretty quick build, at only about 14 or 15 minutes, I think it is. And the table was... It was a long part of it, to be honest. It doesn't look long now, it's been sped up, but trust me, I was struggling. It was doing my head in. So yeah, we use a lot of the same kind of stuff that we used in the other house, just due to the fact that it's the kind of style. So yeah, we use these sofas. And that's because I was thinking when I was doing it, we don't actually have, like, a casual sofa. We either have, like, really old-fashioned, or really modern, and we have that one that looks like leathery with wood on the outside, but I don't like that one very much. And I was just like, I just want like a casual sofa that you'd see in like a normal person's house. Um, so yeah, I mean, so we went with that one again, unfortunately, but we don't have too many options. I'd love to see a new pack with some more stuff like that in it, you know, some more chairs, some more sofas, just like a bunch of stuff. We need a good new stuff pack with a lot of like Ikea home stuff or something that comes with a bit of everything. That was a great pack. Um, Putting in the, like, end tables here again, I use those outdoor ones that have got the glass and the black iron, and I think they work perfect for inside, to be honest. I've used them before in some of my builds. Um, I don't know if they're on YouTube or not, but I've definitely used them before is what I mean, and I think it looks really cool. So I use those movie hangout curtains on the back wall as well, where we've got those, like, big row of nice Georgian windows. Like, they're quite big and tall and let in a lot of light because it's quite a long, boxy type of room, so I thought, like, as many windows as we can get in, the better, so... Putting in a desk here, again, using that outside table that we use as the dining table as well. And I think it adds something different to this build that, you know, a lot of other houses don't have with all the wooden furniture. This is kind of a bit different. So, um, threw in, like, a little table thing here that I always try and put near a front door to keep, like, spare books, car keys, pens, whatever you want there. Like, that kind of thing, like, spare change as you're going out. And, of course, a mirror, because I always think you should have a mirror by the front door so you can check yourself as you go out. And that kind of thing. And then just throwing in some clutter items and some paintings, a little rug near the front door, and then we go into wallpaper. And I was going to go really bright with that green at first, but I go way more neutral, and I think it looks much better. <laughs> and adding in just like a column just to sort of separate that off where I'm going to put tile in the kitchen. And it really gives it that feel of like a separate room as well, which is quite good. So, because sometimes with an open plan, it's difficult to try and separate the rooms, especially when it's in a long row like that. But I think I did an okay job at it. The kitchen definitely feels separate and because the entrance is slightly off to the left I think it has a good sort of separation feel to it as well so you're not sitting like on top of the front door as it were 
But yeah, we're moving on to the guest bedroom here, and this guest bedroom is a little bit more modern than the rest of the house with these sort of lights and flowers. Just got more of a modern white cleanly feel to it, but not like cleanliness, not like clinical, but just just a bit more clean lines and that kind of thing. And um, moving on to the joint bathroom here, we are going in and we put in a shower, a tub, sink and toilet, all the essentials that you need. It's a full bathroom. I went for full tiles on the floor and the walls just because it's easier to clean and it just looks really, I don't know what's the word, it's just like it looks clean, <laughs> like the other definition of clean if you know what I mean. But yeah, we put in a um, clawfoot bath because I thought that was a really nice addition. That's slightly set off from the back of the wall so it's a nice, nice luxury bath and some plants either side of that and then just throwing in some clutter and we put some lights above the mirrors as well. So it's kind of like a vanity sort of thing so you could like get ready there and there'd be like plenty of light because there's not too much natural light going on here, so. And again, I use those movie hangout curtains just to make it look very grand, very regal at the bathtub, and it would be a nice relaxing spot to have a nice bubbly bath. <laughs> Moving on to the master bedroom, we go in and do a very brown and cream, very neutrals in here, like the rest of the house really, but we use a lot more dark wood in here and it really gives it that warm feeling. And I always think that's a really nice in a bedroom because it would make it feel kind of homey and cozy and you'd want to go to sleep and just cuddle up in blankets and stuff. And that's kind of why the guest bedroom is like not so warm and cozy because it's not used, it's for guests, if you know what I mean. So this someone definitely lives here and it's this, they've made it their own and that kind of thing. So um, putting in like a chest of drawers and a mirror and we do have walk-in wardrobes off to the side there. As you can see, I'm struggling for a mirror clearly. And we have walk-in wardrobes off to the side, but I also like to throw in a chest of drawers because you can never have enough room to store your clothes because I have two wardrobes and a chest of drawers and I still don't have enough room to store my clothes so <laughs> you know you gotta have plenty of space and then throwing in some curtains and I think that is pretty much it we throw in a little plant or something off to the side and I'm moving on to the landscaping so the landscaping did not take me long or whatsoever I kind of just did a hedge fence but we actually do it out of hedges so I can utilize that space kind of thing because I don't, I don't like having the edge of the lot where you can't use it, it's so annoying. I wish we could put the fences on the very edge of the lot like you used to be able to because you just waste so much space otherwise. And I know I technically haven't gained any more space from doing this, but it just felt more open in my opinion. So we go in and add in a couple of trees in the backyard and like I said, a little table and a bench I think as well. So it's a very nice garden just to come and sit out here and I could really see like maybe an elderly couple living in this house, maybe they've moved here or they've lived here their whole life and they've kind of made it exactly what they've wanted it to do or made it exactly how they wanted it and that kind of thing and I just absolutely love the way it turned out, I'm very very happy with it and um, I'm really into this style of building lately so I think it's going to be more common on my channel from now on maybe so another Monday build as well so happy Monday I hope this cheers you guys up because Monday is a miserable day because you have to go back to work or school or wherever you're going it's not fun but anyway we're coming to the end of the video so if you liked it then please give this video a thumbs up because I appreciate that load please leave all your comments I absolutely love hearing back from you guys it's so fun when I see that I've got a bunch of new notifications with you guys commenting on my videos I love responding to you guys and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, subscribe if you're not. If you want to, then I would appreciate that. And if you want to download the house, then you can. It is on the gallery. It's called Hollygrove Oak. All the usual hashtags, Hollygrove Oak, Hollygrove Oak, Endless Sims, Endless, all those things. And the link is in the description. So please enjoy the rest of the video and the screenshots at the end. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.